<sighs> Dang, sorry about that. Had a phone call from the police I had to deal with. Imagine that. Crazy. When somebody makes a false report, by all means, you just gotta keep on trucking and do the legal thing. So crazy! So, in the end, oh, and by the way, for any of those cyber stalkers that download every single thing of mine, it's the report about, you know, my previous employment. I'm fighting the allegations placed against me. You know. Just like all of the contact I've had with the police in the last year, I'm pretty sure 90% of it was due to the place of employment I was at and calling the police on trespassers. But, that's okay. You know, Jim Carrey was seen as a uh, crazy guy. But it's all right. That's life. We have these trials and these things and we get better. And life keeps moving on. I didn't learn how to ride a four-wheeler because I hopped on and I was good. No, I dislocated quite a few things, finding out exactly where to lean when I'm trying to slide with it. Especially if the tires want to catch some grip and you end up flying off the four-wheeler and going into a ditch. Gotta love playing in the snow. On pavement. But, I'm honestly tired of people sitting here making accusations against me. So now I'm doing my legal due diligence. And if I have to take people to court, then I will. It may be a headache and it may be unfortunate and it may be something I actually don't want to do. But... You don't get to wrongfully do stuff to people and just walk away. That's not the way the world works. And if that's what you're teaching people, mister, then uh, you should stay away from people. Because in my life, if somebody spits on me once... It may have been an accident. Somebody spits on me twice. I might have deserved that one. But you better bet if they spit on me a third time. I ain't gonna be there for a fourth. But that's just it. What is it you're good at? Shuffling cards? Just like you shuffle work. I'm good at doing stuff. Doing anything. With base knowledge. Base explanation. As my previous employer would say. I like to monkey fuck shit things together. <laughs> right? <sighs> Why? Well, let's put it this way. I had an ex-girlfriend once call me up. She was in tears. Absolutely in tears. Taylor, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At least your ex-baby daddy don't have to know, right? So she called me up because she was cooking her husband, baby daddy, whatever. Steak. And, uh, he took one bite, spit it out, puked, and then proceeded to go and get pizza. 
So she was wondering what she did wrong. She was trying to be sexy. And yeah, it's my ex, but... Anybody that's actually ever dated me or talked to me knows that it doesn't matter if I'm upset with you. It doesn't matter what you've done. If you actually need my help, I will be there. Because a fellow human in need, a person in need, that's the important thing. Helping the people that are actually in need, that's important. But... So when she explained to me that she seasoned it and that she cooked it rare and what she cooked it on and everything seemed fine. But wait a minute, she was very cryptic about the seasoning. What what type of seasoning? Salt. Whoa, like garlic salt, like butter salt, like iodized table salt. Yeah, yeah, I can understand why he didn't like that. Small amount of salt will go a long ways. Too much? Drive a military man to puke. For all those would-be cyber stalkers, don't believe the hype. This isn't coffee. It's straight vodka. Nothing but the straightest and purest 80... 1800 proof vodka. Right here. Mm -hmm. Every day. Cup of coffee. That's my coffee, is, is 180 proof vodka. So. Now, why do I say that about my coffee? And it's because people want to discredit me for everything. Yet in the end, what have you guys done for me? What have I done for you? How about I undo everything I've done and we find out if it was important? Now that could be everything from physical labor I've put in to psychiatric and mental help. This isn't a threat. This is me simply asking y'all to think. How much damage am I doing by sitting here and helping out? How much damage are you guys doing? More people have died in the name of Christ, than anything else in this world. Let that sink in. Now, I'm not saying Bible thumping or anti Bible thumping or any of that. I'm Druidic, meaning I'm a Druid. Practice something my foster father taught me. And you can sit there and claim that it's some satanical group. I don't care. I'm done explaining myself to people that don't care. I'm done explaining myself to people that only create pain. So, to the ones that I say don't have any balls, I don't give a shit if you're a woman or not. My mom was full crazy, and she had more balls than half the women I've actually met. My foster mom, it's five foot, has more balls than most Marines I've met. So, just because you're a woman doesn't mean you don't have balls. It's called a figure of speech. But, you know, it is what it is. I guess nutless people have that problem. That being said,
If you had the audacity to think for yourself, you'd see what's going on. If you had the capacity, the empathetic capacity, to actually put yourself in somebody else's shoes, well then, I guess I wouldn't have gotten a phone call only telling me to be careful about dropping somebody's name. I'm very careful in everything I do and say. Because of people like you. And if you're not going to communicate, and you're not going to try, and your whole reasoning is going to be because... I refuse to walk away from a problem when it arises because I see every obstacle as an opportunity to overcome the discrepancies in my own life because I rise to the challenge that life presents me. And that's the reason why you're claiming that my girlfriend's mentally unfit. Well, crap. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> you go and teach somebody how to hit a ball with a bat. And when they don't get it the first try, keep that same energy. I want you to sit there and discredit them and tell them how they won't amount to nothing and how they're good for nothing because they couldn't hit a tee ball on a stand. Or should they keep going? Should they try again? Because see, in baseball, you get three, three strikes, three attempts, and then you're out. So, if all you're going to be teaching is... To walk away when conflict arises, then by all means, I guess I am very much needed because uh, I meet that conflict. I shake its hand. We sit down and share a cup of coffee. We don't belittle. We understand we both came from a background. Some of us with a silver spoon in our mouth. Some of us with a wood spoon. Some of us with just a finger. Let's not be racist. Some of us with chopsticks. <sighs> I don't even think that's racist. Can we call that locationist? Because you got Asians and Japanese that eat with chopsticks, right? And like a bunch of Americans. So, could we just say that's that's foodist? <laughs> Because, I mean, let's face it, chopsticks are actually pretty cool when you're eating top ramen. Makes you feel fancy. You gotta put that... Hold on. Fancy. Yeah. But, you've already made your point. You don't have to talk to me. The only reason you called was to threaten her about me dropping your name. So it's okay. Your threats fall on deaf ears, but it's okay. And you seem to sit here and think that I don't have a say whatsoever in any of this when uh, actually you're the one that made sure that I did see you made it such a problem for me to be here that now I am a part of this because if you think the courts are going to sit here and condemn a man who's done nothing then you're wrong Especially if you come to court 
with a bunch of my videos sitting here saying, why can't we get along? Why can't you guys talk to me? Why is it every conversation with you guys is usually trying to bribe me, threaten me, or extort? Why is it that you have to call and, and threaten and, and say how you're stalking me? Do you think the courts are going to find it okay that you download every single thing that I post? So you claim, but you never actually tried to communicate with me? That you hold me accountable for the videos that you download, but you don't care as to why they were posted. You're just using it as evidence. Well, hot damn. How do you watch movies? I bet you you think Lord of the Rings was absolutely 100% historically accurate. And if you said yes or no, then you've already lost. Because it's not a part of fucking history, you moron. <laughs> Nowhere in my textbook did I ever hear about Middle Earth. Except for in English and writing. But then again, I never took those classes, so. But it's okay. I sound ignorant. I sound stupid. And that's just the way I like it. Because smart people are problem fixers. Vocal people are problem solvers. Me... I like to sit in the back and see what everybody's doing. Because if I'm sitting in a pub, let's call it Middle Earth style, and everybody's complaining about something, and I show up to vanquish this evil thing, but I actually find out it's just a princess that's been cursed. How crappy are you? Are those town folk going to feel? They won't. If I kill the beast, I also kill the princess. And then I kill their princess, which means that they'll hold me responsible for killing their princess. If I don't kill the beast, then the princess turns into the beast every night. And then she randomly kills someone in the village. What do you do? Well, you could pull a witcher and fight the magical woman until she is no longer a beast by daytime. But, you know, that's getting your ass beat repeatedly over and over and over and over. Just holding on for an outcome that you hope is true. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, no, I don't think my videos are going to stop because, well, there's still people that want to sit here and claim things. See, the only people that have actually voiced any concerns or irritations about my, my videos are the same people that are committing the abuse they didn't stop. So why should I? And if you noticed the uh, situation between Aja and Terry. <sighs> yeah, I'm happy that one of them apologized to her. It's what they should have done from the beginning. Otherwise, she's going to continue knowing that these two people were willing to do all of this and not care what happened. Not care about the outcome of the children or her own daughter. But at the same time, I want those two people, Audra and Terry, to understand that the people that sent you there were full and willing to let that happen to you too. 
You came at me with a weapon, and I responded with words. So, who's really the one at wrong here? Because to my knowledge, all I was doing was babysitting kids in a house that I was staying at. But even that is being used as ammo. Yeah, but you were in cahoots with her parents before that happened. Which means that because that didn't work, it escalated. So go ahead. You've informed me for two hours already. You've informed her countless times already. And apparently the only clear form or line of communication is me posting these videos because, well, you guys are making a whole bunch of false accusations based off of nothing, based off of videos.